We got Sarah Morris back here on the program. She's going to be taking on Tatalita Bernardo at UFC Fight Night 138 on October 27th. Sarah, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Now, I know you had some stuff to do this morning, doing some errands, things like that. Where were you before the interview? Um, I was just at the UFC Performance Institute, and I was uh, seeing Heather there. She's a physiotherapist that uh, was just, you know, making my body feel good for the rest of the day. Yeah, and how has that been? Of course, uh, you know, people I'm sure know that you have uh, made the big move to Las Vegas from BC. Um, how has that transition been for uh, for you and your fiance and the cats, most importantly? Uh, you know, like, I I couldn't be happier here. I just I just love it so much. Just, like, there's so many high-level people to train with. I have a great coach here. Um, the UFC PI is just amazing to have, uh, like, nutritionists that just make, like, orders all my meals for me so I don't have to think about anything. It's just, like, I can just focus on the fight and I go to the gym and my coach is focused on me, so I just have to listen to what they say and... It makes my job a whole lot easier. Yeah, you can just focus on fighting. Because before, for people who don't know, I mean, you were working for Canada Post, and then you were trying to, you know, train on top of that. So it must be nice to just focus 100% on fighting. Yeah, it's just, it's amazing. And just having the support here is, like, yeah, it's just unreal. And just being able to get my body looked at every time it hurts, like, it's just stuff I didn't have access to before. So it's really awesome here. And, and I know one of the big things, too, is training partners. You know, uh, back in BC, I know you didn't get to train with a lot of women. How, how, how has that been, you know, getting to finally train with uh, some fellow uh, pro fighters? Yeah, it's, it's just so awesome. And then just being in Vegas is like the hub of MMA. So there's always people coming through. There's always new bodies to work with and just high-level people and just so many people. So it's, it, uh, I just love it here. It's just like, yeah, I, I wish I made the move five years ago, but you know, can't change the past. What's the least, uh, what's your least favorite part of living in Vegas? Is it the strip? What, what, what don't you like about Vegas? Um, I don't, I don't know. I like everything here. Everything, like gas is half the price. Food's like a quarter of the price. Just like everything's so cheap here. Everything's so accessible. Everything's open all the time. I live like far enough from the strip that it doesn't really bother me, but it's somewhere to go if I need to go. Um, there's always stuff to do here. There's always free stuff to do here. Like you can always like you can get out of your house a lot easier than back home. The cats love it here. They can go outside and feel safe here and we're close to the gym. We're close to the UFC PI. We're just like oh, I just love it here. I love everything about it here. That's great to hear. Awesome to hear that it's all uh, working out there. Um, let's talk about your last fight quickly. I know things didn't go your way in that one against uh, Lucy Pudilova at UFC Fight Night 126. Uh, now you've had a chance to assess everything. Where do you feel like you went wrong in that fight? Um, you know, like I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to talk a whole lot of shit, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I made the move to a new gym with a new coach and being here has just been unreal here. And, you know, like I'm realizing how much stuff I was missing out on being at a smaller gym, um, without that experience that, that the coaches have here. So I'm, yeah, my head was not in the right space in that last fight, and here, like, you know, like, I'm just, I'm just happy now. I'm really happy. I'm focused on training. I'm not getting stressed out. I'm not, I don't know. It's just, it's a completely different vibe here, and I'm just loving it. That's awesome. Um, let's talk about your opponent here, Tatalita Bernardo, 4-3 and three record. How do you feel like you match up against her? You know, it's it's a really interesting match, I think, because I know watching her fight, we have some of the same same issues we have some of the same problems we have some of the same strengths so it makes it makes for a really interesting fight but i have a great coach with a great game plan and i'm yeah i'm i'm looking for that bonus <laughs> as always do you have any like main training partners that you work with uh, you mentioned you get a lot of fighters coming in and out of uh, you know the pi and everything else uh, is there anyone you work with a little bit more than others um, right now I'm, I'm actually, uh, working a lot with the amateur team here. There's a few guys that are my size that are just like, they shouldn't be amateurs. They're so freaking good. Um, yeah, so I've been working with a guy named Trent, um, Ethan and Christian and they're all like, they're just so high level. So it's like awesome working with them. I get, I get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention when I'm at that session instead of the pro class. So I've been doing that a lot. 
and uh, it's yeah it's just awesome they're so good but then in the other classes I'll work with I don't know it's different people every day like sometimes it's like different people that I haven't even worked with yet like tomorrow like today I'll work with people I've never worked with before so it's nice always having that those new bodies to work with those new you have to assess it just like in a fight how you got to read your opponent whereas like before I had the same training partners all the time. I knew what they were going to do to me. You never got those nerves. You never had to, like, figure out what they're doing because you, you've you been with them so long that you know what they're going to do. So it's it's really cool being here and just, you know, you get those, like, fight nerves, like, almost every class. So it's oh, I just love it here. But the weight cut, um, I know that fight, the fight's, a, you know, a couple of weeks away, but has that process started already? I know you're working with a nutritionist, so I guess uh, just keep, keeping the, the healthy meals coming. Yeah, so I've been working with the nutritionist this camp and just I think not dealing with as much stress here has been a whole lot easier for my weight. It's just been it's been coming off a lot easier. I know like I got up bigger than I should have been, but since I broke my foot in my last fight and I I had to move here and everything, so I wasn't training for a while. So but yeah, everything's coming along great. It's actually coming along better than it did in my last fight. Um yeah, I'm. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. That's great. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Um, so this fight, Dennis Davis is going to be my main coach, and then Cleve Bentley is also going to be in my corner. Yeah, and Cleve has a fight coming up. Does he not? I saw something about that. Uh, he just got a call this morning, unfortunately. Oh, no, that sucks. Yeah, his opponent got injured, so. Uh, yeah, so. Is he looking to fight out in the States? I know there's some shows in Vegas that, that come here and there. I, I'd imagine you got, you know, for, for his sake, just fighting on the regional scene, he'd probably want to take something a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it's just, you know, the opportunity he came up for this other fight and it was paying pretty well and it was a good, a good matchup for him. So he was, yeah, it's just, you know, the promoter came to him and offered him that fight. So he, he yeah. How do you see this fight playing out on the 27th? Um, you know, it's, it's always like, you know, you want to get that finish and that's always what I'm going for is for a finish. I haven't knocked anyone out yet in a fight yet, so I'd love to get a knockout win, but you know, like I'll, wherever the fight goes and the higher level opponents you fight, the harder it is to get a finish. So, you know, I, I'm ready for a battle, but I, I want to get that performance of the night. I've improved so much being here and I'm just, I'm just so excited to like, show everyone what I've learned. What do you like doing in Vegas uh, outside of uh, training and everything like that? Is there anything that you and Cleve have got up to, uh, you know, while you've been in Vegas? Um, we've gone on a few like trips. We've been to uh, the Hoover Dam and there's like this place called like the Seven Magic Mountains or something like that. Um, and we've gone hiking a little bit up Mount Charleston where it's actually a lot cooler than it is in Vegas because it's like way too hot to hike anywhere near Vegas. So up there it's like higher elevation. So that's been cool. Um, yeah, we've just been invited out to do things, which is really nice. Um, Misha has a lot of hookups, so she's invited us out to like uh, private screenings of movies and stuff. So we've been, we've been getting up to some cool stuff that we never really had the opportunity to do before. So it's been, yeah, it's just been awesome here. How did your cat survive the drive down there? I just moved back to BC and we had to fl we, we had to go on the plane basically because I was worried my cat wouldn't be able to survve a whole week at driving. Uh, how, how did they do? Yeah, uh, it, it was like heartbreaking at the beginning. Um, our one cat who's like we thought we, she'd be pretty good. she was throwing up for the first like hour or so, which was really hard to watch. And then our other cat's like just a scaredy cat. so she was she kind of like she gets us like howl. So she'll be like howling, but uh, after about an hour or so, they both kind of just slept, and then we parked in like a Walmart parking lot just so we wouldn't have to like bring the cats out into a hotel and lose them or something, and then we, uh, yeah, and then we started driving again the next day, and they, they sort of thin, and we throwing up, and then the howling at the beginning, and then they calmed down again. So it, it was really, it was really hard, but we got... We got like a giant dog kennel and it took up the whole back seat and then we put like like it had a thing in between the cages for like two dogs or something, but we could put it like 
up top so we could make a layer and then we put cardboard down so they could like sit up there and look out the window and then underneath was like a litter box and a cat scratching post so they could like move around a bit more than just being okay. in a little bag so yeah it, and then they could be together too so that worked out for them but our seats couldn't recline for us to actually get any sleep Okay, fair enough. Uh, before I let you go here, um, you know, Vegas is your new home now. Are, do you still go back and visit? Do you p feel like you'll go back and visit in Canada? Or do you feel like for now, Vegas is home, we'll just stay there and uh, enjoy it? Um, like, we fought recently, like a month or so ago in Penticton. So we were back for that. But I mean, like, Cleve's got family there. But like, my family's more on the coast. So Vegas is kind of the hot spot, though. I don't really have any interest in going back but um like we've had like 10 visitors come here in the three months we've been here <laughs> so you know like we don't really need to go there because everyone comes here and we actually socialize with people from back home more here than we did back home so it's yeah I don't know like I mean I miss Cleve's family and I have like a couple friends that I miss but I, I'm just I'm just loving it here so I have no no real reason to go back there I'm just trying to convince them to come out here <laughs> excellent well uh, yeah congrats on the move glad to see it's all gone really well for you uh, we're excited to see this fight it's coming up here October 27th it is a uh, UFC fight night 138 uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media and if you have any sponsors or thank yous or anything like that the floor is yours um, you can follow me on Twitter at Sarah Cheesecake, I believe, on Instagram at The Sarah Cheesecake, and I think I have a Facebook page called The Sarah Cheesecake Morris. Um, I have a few sponsors. I'd like to thank Total Restoration for helping me out with this fight, Curly Kale Eatery, um, Never Tie Belt, my friend. I have, like, the shirt on right here. She invented a belt for a gi that you never have to tie up. It's, I believe it's, um, what's it called, where it, like, she's starting to sell them this week, I believe. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool for kids and everything like that with gi. You don't have to tie your belt. It just Velcros together, and it's pretty awesome, I think. I don't do gi, but it sounds like a fucking cool idea. And um, Canna Hemp, they... They're my CBD sponsor. They help me out with a lot of stuff that helps me recover. 100% THC free. It's yeah, it's just awesome products. They're awesome to me, and I I feel like I'm forgetting someone. That's all. That's always what happens. I should have read it wrote it down before this, but yeah. Thanks to everyone for helping me out.